Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are reacting to the brand new trailer for Garden of Banban 2. You may remember around a month ago we played the first Garden of Banban and it was a game that felt very inspired by Poppy Playtime. Since then it has really grown in popularity and of course a sequel is on the way. It's not actually called Chapter 2, it's simply called Garden of Banban 2 which is interesting. So I don't know if this is going to be like a full game or chapters. I feel like it actually is chapters, they're just not calling it chapters. But the first game was super popular, you guys really enjoyed my playthrough and my story analysis video on that, so I thought I'd check out the trailer on the channel today and kind of break it down, see what we can see here, do a little reaction to it, and generally just have a fun video for today. Also, you guys let me know what you think of this game series in the comments below. I know some people don't like Garden of Banban, some people do. I was kind of mixed on it. The first chapter I thought was kind of okay, like it had some scuffed elements to it let's say some rough edges but it was fun enough and i'm kind of interested to see where the story goes so hopefully the trailer for this new one is exciting either way let's sit back relax and check it out oh straight into the action <laughs> we start with whoa a chase looks like jumbo josh there and uh bambolino is chasing us okay oh i don't know what character that was was that stinger flynn maybe We've got the Appealer Bird, we've got a warehouse environment here. Different colored drones, very nice. A little party hat on that one. So we've got multiple drones. Oh god, what is that? What is that? That actually looks kind of scary. Got like some kind of science lab there. It's really loud, this trailer in my ears. Uh, couldn't read that. So more drone gameplay, basically. That looks like a new character. And that's a new character as well, like a snail-like character. We've got cannons, jumping. That looks pretty tricky. That platforming section looks tricky. Oh yeah, and you can see, look, we've got brand new characters there on uh, this image at the end. Meet the family, it says. And that's it. Oh, maybe not. Oh god, we've got loads of a pillar birds. A pillar chicks. Garden of Banban 2. There we go, guys. That was super loud, that trailer. Um, okay, cool. Well, that was actually interesting. Like, it seems like it's going to have a lot more to it than the first chapter, which is already promising. As I said before, the first chapter was a bit low on content, and I wasn't super impressed by it. But this one actually looks like it's going to have a lot to it. Some set-piece moments where we were being chased around there by Bambolina and Jumbo Josh. And, you know, there's some puzzle elements, there's some platforming elements, some new characters introduced, lots of new environments as well. It certainly looks like they've kind of taken their time to really build up the second chapter of this game. I'm still going to be calling it the second chapter, by the way. I refuse to call it the second game because the first game was like 30 minutes long. And this chapter seems like it's going to expand greatly on what came before. With all that said, let's go through the trailer scene by scene and kind of break down what happens here. So the first scene is this chase sequence, and we can see Bambolina is chasing us. We haven't seen her character model before this, and we also see the hand of Jumbo Josh coming around a corner. So it seems like we're going to have like a dual chase, with Bambolina chasing us and Jumbo Josh trying to stop our progress as we race through these hallways, which is pretty cool. Next we have this kind of long blue monster who's peeking around the corner. Now I don't know who this is meant to be, it seems like a new character. But as we're kind of walking down the stairs there, peeking out, this seems to be an enemy that's going to be stalking us through the halls and waiting for the opportune moment to attack potentially. You'll also notice there are multiple doors throughout this chapter. They each have the face of a character above them. So we have one for Ban Ban, one for the Pillar Bird, and so on and so forth. So it seems like we're going to be going through different areas and meeting the different characters who were on that big sign as we came into the lobby during chapter one. It seems like each character might get their own area in this new chapter. The next thing that was really cool that stuck out to me here was that we have the option to customise our drone this time. We can change their colours, we can customise them with little hats and stuff. So it's a little bit of customization. I guess we unlock this stuff as we go through the chapter and complete different objectives. So maybe if we do it in a certain time, we'll unlock a different colour, or maybe if we find a certain secret, we'll unlock a different hat. Something like that to give it replayability, so for people that really like this game, they can really customise the drone as they fly it about. And I do enjoy little things like this in games, you know, where developers will add stuff to unlock. Just gives it that replayability and that extra lifespan uh, after you complete it, there's a reason to go back, so that's kind of fun. 
Then we walk out into this giant area, it's like an enormous area with suspension bridges and we see a face that looks like something out of a creepypasta. Big black eyes, big black mouth, just a white pale face, almost like a moon face, looking down, screaming at us. And it looks like really, really terrifying. Like honestly, this is actually quite effectively scary, considering that the first game I didn't find that creepy at all. And um, it's very out of place with the rest of the art style, but I kind of like it. So I have no idea if this is just a prop or an enemy that will actually attack us, but I'm eager to find out when the game drops. You can see in this next scene we're in some kind of lab and we're actually playing with a substance in a tube, kind of raising it up and down. So it seems like there's going to be some kind of chemistry based puzzle. It could be something to do with the experimentation that's happening at this kindergarten. We don't know what's going on, but we do know some dark experiments are taking place. And it looks like we're going to be taking part in this weird science as we go through this new chapter with puzzles based around chemistry. It was this shot that I completely missed while I was talking over the original trailer where you've got these basketballs wearing sunglasses and it says we're the cool kids and we chew gum, get us gum for money and there's some gum stuck over the sign there. It looks like there's going to be a jump scare as well. We pick up this note, it says behind you, I bet you anything. As soon as we pick that up and we turn around, there's a monster jump scaring us or something that's appeared behind us. It's a classic horror game trope, but I quite like those scenes when you do pick up something and it says behind you and then something happens. It's quite effective. You can see this room full of cannons here as well and it says only one cannon can be fired at a time, the timer must not run down. So basically um, it seems like there's going to be a mini game or we have to fire these cannons at the different buttons and hit all the different buttons before the timer runs out. There's also a chest that looks like it's going to be opened after we've activated all these different panels and buttons and perhaps we get something from the chest such as a key or a key item of some kind that helps us progress further into the environment. This is actually quite a cool environment, it looks quite piratey and beach themed and uh, will probably be quite fun to explore this one. Now we've got this nightmarish platforming sequence. Now this looks like something that will get my anxiety up because I'm terrible at platforming in first person games and this just looks like something where I could be falling down, falling down, falling down constantly, causing a lot of frustration potentially but definitely a lot of anxiety along the way. So yeah, this room's probably going to be my nightmare when the game comes out, I'm just warning you guys. Watch out for that playthrough and we'll see what happens, but at the moment I'm a bit anxious about this one. In this corridor it's weird, you've got all these bodies of different mascots like piled up in a bin, it seems. So it kind of looks like many of the test subjects have failed and been sort of killed off. We actually see the one in front of a whiteboard earlier in the video, so it seems like we're going to meet lots of different mascots that are like failed experiments in this chapter. And then you can see this final shot, it says meet the family and we've got some new characters in the form of this snail enemy and this frog enemy. Well I say enemy, originally they weren't meant to be enemies of course, they were meant to be friendly mascots, but I'm betting they're going to be enemies in this new chapter. The frog kind of looks like a sheriff, he's got a sheriff's badge and a sheriff's hat. So yeah, like a law enforcement frog, which is very strange. And then the final shot of course we've got all these Apilla bird chicks in this very strange environment with different coloured trees. So it seems like they're going to be chasing us about or perhaps we get them to follow us, maybe they're friendly, hey here's hoping right? But I'm betting a lot of people are going to really like these little things because the Apilla bird kind of blew up online and people were really talking about that thing and loving it. But with that said guys, that's come to the end of my quick analysis of the trailer and of course my reaction to it. I am actually hopeful for this game, I wasn't too hopeful when I played the first chapter but I think they are actually seeing that it's been quite successful and they're trying to take their time with the second chapter or the second part and you know really put some effort into it so I'm definitely going to be playing this when it comes out and also I will be doing a story explained for it as well so you've got all that to look forward to if you're into the series if you're not into the series obviously no obligation to watch it but I'm definitely more hopeful for this than I was before I watched this new trailer so with that said guys hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have remember to leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one